Climate action in Latin America and the Caribbean is not only possible, it is also essential to achieving national, economic, social and development objectives. Our region is one of the world's most vulnerable to climate change. Climate-related disasters have tripled in the last 50 years, with increasingly adverse effects on morbidity, mortality, ecosystems and economies. Disasters can reduce GDP by up to 0.9% in lower-income countries. It is clear we need rapid policy change, and Latin America and the Caribbean are part of the solution. If well managed, the economic and social benefits of decarbonization will surpass the costs. The transition to net zero could create 15 million net new jobs by 2030 and provide $2.7 trillion in net benefits by 2050. But to get to net zero and ensure climate resilience, to minimize losses and maximize gains, we need to strengthen climate governance. The key challenge of climate governance is to ensure that each actor understands the role they play. Economic sectors and all levels of government need to be aware of how to achieve climate resilience and decarbonization goals, the main barriers to meeting these goals, and the public investments and regulatory updates to remove the barriers. We've made progress enhancing governance in the region through knowledge generation and working with ministries of finance, supporting policy transformations across sectors and subnationally. An example is the regional climate change platform of the ministries of finance. Over the last two years, we've helped exchange knowledge and experiences to shape fiscal policies in response to climate change. We need to expand this work. We need good governance and leadership to drive change. With effective legal, institutional and regulatory frameworks, we can achieve inclusive economic growth, protect the most vulnerable and help achieve net zero and resilient countries. At the IDB, we are fully committed to this agenda.